Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is PJ and I upload twice a week. So today's video, as you can see with all this in the background, this is usually one of two makeup cases that I take when I do makeup on clients. I have literally just chucked everything in there so it's not organized whatsoever, but this is usually what I'm working with. It's usually really cluttered, really hard to find things. When I get to someone's like apartment or their house or something like that, I always have to have like a table or a desk where I can lay everything out and then my bag is empty and then when I'm done, I put it all back in my bag. So I was on Wish. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. But I saw this bag, which I've been seeing everywhere. And it's like a bag where you can have compartments. And I thought, hey, that'd be really good. I ordered it. Didn't end up coming. Um, I explained in that video why. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go on eBay and I'm going to order it on eBay because I know it's going to arrive. And I paid $25, including shipping. And this arrived in three days. <laughs> three days. Even my dad was like, how are they even making money off that if you didn't pay for shipping? So I don't know how they're doing it, but I will leave the seller down below. I arrived so early that I actually wasn't even able to leave a review. You have to be a member on eBay for five days and it arrived in three. So I had to wait a couple of days before I could leave a review, but I definitely left a good one. So this is what the case looks like. It's pretty big and it is empty at the moment and I'm going to actually tell you what I put in it and what I take when I do makeup on clients. So if you like this type of video please comment down below and let me know and make sure you're subscribed and yeah let's get into it. Okay so I hope this angle is all good just for the purpose of the video I've chucked like everything up here and covered my mirror just so the ring light doesn't like blind you. This makeup bag has lasted me probably two to three years and I actually really like it. It comes with like a strap but it is easy to carry. It's just it doesn't have any compartments apart from this one here and then there's like two inside. So this is by the brand Lanza. I think I got this from like a bag store. So that is everything that I take for a client. Um, I do only take like three or four foundations and then a foundation lightener, usually just because I already know what shade they're going to be when I arrive. And then I only take a couple of palettes just because they either tell me that they want a colorful look, they want a neutral look. I always bring all these glitters by Stila just because it's very rare to get like an all matte look. People usually want glitter. These are all like my lips, eyeliners, eyebrows just everything. So now I'm going to organize all of this and put it in here. So when I do people's makeup, this is usually what it kind of looks like when it's set up on the table. It's easy for me to grab and put back. But then when I was finished with the client, I had to like put it all back in that bag and it was just, it was really annoying. So I'm going to go through this bag first. As I said, I bought this off eBay. I'll leave everything linked down below. So it has a compartment up here where you can put like a hair tool. Um, I'm never going to put a hair tool in there, so I don't know what I'm going to use that one for. But then there's a space here where you can put like palettes and stuff like that which I think will be really good um, you can also put like headbands other stuff like that which I will actually use and then once you open this it's got another couple of compartments in here you can put like all of your brushes it's got little compartments for your brushes to go it's also got a zipper in here where you can put more eyeshadow palettes and then this bit here was the bit that I was most excited for which is the reason why I bought it with all these little compartments it does come with two straps so that you can make it into like a crossbody but you can also turn it into a backpack which is probably what I'll use I would prefer to be carrying around a backpack than a crossbody it comes with things that you can pull out and you can put them in any of these little grooves so what I'm going to do now is organize this how I want it and then I'm going to start filling it what I think I want to do is put all my big like palettes all my little face palettes in here so I have all of these I've got the Anastasia contour kit I've got the Marc Jacobs bronzer I've got this blush palette by Tarte I've got a cream blush palette by e.l.f. I've got a Too Faced Sweet Peaches palette. I just use this one because it has more glowy products. Um, and then I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And I've still got a little bit of room and I've still got two more dividers. So I'll decide what I want to do after that. And then in this one, I'm going to put all my foundations. So realistically, I know what shade they're going to be. So I've got two foundations that I really like the finish of. They're just going to go in there. And I've got my lightning drops by Astralis that I always use, which I'm going to shove in there too. I'm also going to put my primers in there. I've got... That's what happens when I do makeup. Everything just falls over. I've got three primers here. This one's by Mecca. It's an illuminating primer. This one's the Astralis Original Primer. It's really hydrating. And then this is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, which I use all the time, which they all fit. I've still got a little bit more room, but 
I'll see what I need to add. And I'm going to have all my cream products in this one here. So I'm going to put my pot concealers in here by NARS, my eyeshadow primer, my three concealers. I have Shape Tape and the Urban Decay one. I also have a like green concealer. I'm also going to add the Hoola bronzer in there as well and the NARS. Um, it's like a cream highlight stick. It's actually, it's really pretty, but it's quite subtle. Um, I'm then going to use this compartment for all my glitters. And, oh my god, I just dropped one. But as you can see, I have a lot. So I'm just going to pop them all in there. I also have two glitter liners by Urban Decay. And then what I'm going to do is put my box stuff down here. So I've got the Maybelline Loose Powder. I've got this Inglot highlighter that I love and I talk about all the time. I've got the Urban Decay highlighter. just looks like this. And then I have the Hula by, by Benefit. What I'm going to do is just readjust it. And then instead of putting these on the side, I'm just going to place them on top. I'm going to put my primer back in there and I'm going to move this along as well. So what I've done is just, just move my concealers over. So now I've got like big palettes. And I've got foundations and primers, concealers. And then what I might do is take the glitters out. Okay. So what I've done is just created two more compartments. I'm going to move all my powder products into here where they fit. And then I'm going to put my glitters down here. And these are square packaging, so they're really easy to like fit in. And I've got another opening where I'm going to put all my liners and my mascaras and everything like that. And these are my brow products. I'm going to put them in there as well. And I'm going to put my lip stuff in there too. So I've got two more big compartments here, which is really good. So I use these clips on myself and also I have a set that goes into my makeup case. So I'm going to put all that stuff in here. So like tweezers. So I've got this huge compartment here. What I might do is put like setting sprays. I have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and the Mario Hydrating one. This is really good for people who have dry skin. You can put it into the beauty blender throughout the makeup process. I'm also going to put in this product here which is the daily microfoliant which I spoke about in my favorites video I always use that on clients just to make sure that their skin is like ready for makeup got the elf brush cleaner I only use this to spot clean my brushes I won't use this like when I come home to clean the brushes it's just to get excess shadow off then I always bring this I really need like a smaller size but this is 70 I'll, I'll put the measurements up here but I'm pretty sure it's 70 percent um alcohol and 30 percent water and it's just so that I can sanitize like all my products after I've used them. Might put my scissors in there too. It's, I really need nail scissors, but I've got these huge scissors. Um, and then I'm gonna also put this headband in. And this headband, my mum ordered something off AliExpress, and like a bunch of these headbands came. So it's not what she ordered, but she was like, you can just have it. So I use it on clients. It's really good because it's quite wide, like so I can get the hair out of their face. And then I've got some eyelash glue. This is the Glam by Manicare eyelash glue. And I really like this. It's super inexpensive, but it holds the lashes like crazy. So I am going to pop these just up here where there's some extra room. And then I've got a bit of room at the back. So is my moisturizer and my eye cream. And I've got my lip balm as well. I'm going to put my hand sanitizer here. And I'm going to put my lip balm just where it fits. Just in here. And so far, that's pretty much everything. It's pretty flat at the moment, which is what I want. I want it to be able to obviously like close on top um, I do have obviously like a little bit of like bits and bobs that I can add in the palettes that I usually bring with me are the Jaclyn Hill by um, Morphe palette the Morphe artistry palette which I love and then this is what the Morphe palette looks like it's just super colorful and then since I bought them people always ask me to bring them so I'm bringing the mini controversy palette and then I'm also bringing the conspiracy palette and if you haven't seen my review on these palettes I'll leave it linked down below and also in a card this one in particular as I said in that video it's a little bit hard to travel with just because it is like a shape it's not like flat like these ones are but let's see how we go so those fit really nicely in there the mesh isn't too high though so I don't want to like stretch it by putting this in there so what I also might do is put some lashes in here. These ones, if you saw my Wish video, they're just off Wish. Um, they're really nice and like fluffy and they've got a thin band, which is the best ones to apply on clients because they look the most like natural. <laughs> so I'm going to also just put these in there. 
I've also got a mixing palette, which is good for mixing like foundations and anything if you want to like custom make something. I also have these. These are from Kmart. If you haven't seen my Kmart haul again, I'll link it down below. But they're literally just like under eye patches. I've got rosehip and cucumber. And they're really nice for clients because I always do the eyes first. I'll put them under the eyes and they kind of feel like a little bit more relaxed. So I also bring this with me. This is just like a friend's pencil case that my sister got in like a show bag for me. So it usually has like all my skincare in it. But at the moment, it's just got a makeup remover. I have this in here just because I stayed the night when I was doing makeup. So it was just so I could take my own makeup off. I have my serum. I've got some cotton pads and some Q-tips in here. I'm going to zip that up. So as you can see, that's like all secure. So I've just tried to close it and this actually doesn't fit in here, which is really annoying because I really like these shadows. I might be able to like hook it into here actually. I'll try that later. So we'll, we'll leave, leave that out for now and we'll see how it goes. Um, I am going to put my baby wipes in here and then some micellar water as well. It's always a good thing to have. I have the oil free one um, and it's for like sensitive skin. And then that's all zipped up. And again, I can't get this to close. So it'll close like that. The only two products that haven't fit in there are these two products. I'm more than happy to put these in my handbag. I could take like less products and just be able to fit this in. So my camera's died, but I was able to fit um, the conspiracy palette and the micellar water in there. They're not like as safe and secure as I want. I'm not going to be throwing this bag around anyway. It completely done up. This is what it looks like really weird angle for me but that's everything that I take in my travel makeup kit when I do makeup on clients um, I've never actually filled this before this is my first time filling it on camera um, I may have to just take a couple things out and like rearrange it I usually overpack but it's always good to have things instead of getting somewhere and being like shit like I don't have what I need um, I don't have another client for like another week, so I might change and adjust it then. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this sort of videos and they're interesting to you, let me know by commenting down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!